Hello everyone, it's Kamal, and well, today we're gonna talk about storytelling in pictures. But before that, I just got my first tattoo, so you know. Let's roll the b-roll. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this because it was a nightmare to film at the same time. And I also linked Marian Casarulani's tattoo page down below. So today we're gonna talk about storytelling in photography and how it's a really important aspect of it. You know, we always hear professional photographers go about, you know, your picture needs to tell a story, needs to have a story in it, whatever. And the more I thought about that, the more I was like, this is actually really abstract. How can a picture tell a story? And I narrowed it down to this. I think your picture tells a story when it actually invites the viewer to go in it. You don't need to tell a novel, you know. And so with just the little elements, you can make your picture stand out, your picture a bit more inviting, and make it stand out in the crowd of various boring, bland Instagram pictures that everybody's uploading nowadays. And so, how do you do that? Well, there are many ways, but you know, usually I'd say it's through the elements in the picture or the colors or some of the items in the picture or just simply the angle or the way you take the picture. For example, last summer I took a picture of a mountain, one of my favorite pictures I took this year. And it works not because of the centerpiece, but because of all the elements in it. And so you can see the mountain is the main subject and it's clear, you know, you have the view, you have the clouds, the mountain. But what makes this picture better is the fact that you have the leaves above in the corner, the grass on the ground. At first sight, it seems, you know, just like basic elements that slipped in the picture, but it's something you can remove with a clone stamp easily. But these elements are very important in this picture because they are inviting, you know, having the leaves above and the grass on the ground is just inviting. You can almost imagine walking on the grass and being on the spot. And you know, in some outdoors pictures, I might use LD and add some lens flares and light rays in the sky simply because let's say you were taking a picture in a really sunny day and you want to exaggerate that in the picture to make it go through. That's how you would do it. But again, there are way more subtle ways to do that or way more exaggerated ways to do that. Suppose you were taking a picture of a bookshelf and every book has a really bland and like desaturated color except for the middle one, for example, which would be in a more saturated, more vivid color. You would isolate it from the rest and that's telling a story. And so you, again, you don't need to write a whole novel about your picture. You just need to make it just a bit more special, a bit more inviting. It varies from picture to picture, but with a portrait, for example, but you can either take a typical close-up portrait, blurry background without any real definition to it. But you know, the story is actually told through the model's eyes, the model's expression, and even some items or props that you might slip by, you know? So in the end, it's all about how you present your picture and the items in it. And the last aspect that might help in storytelling in a picture is actually the colors and the light, you know? The more you take pictures, the less and less you tend to actually think about the lights very much. Because of the routine, you start thinking about exposure, you know, not having anything blown out, anything in the shadows. But usually we tend to forget about, you know, telling a story through the light and actually taking time to sculpt it. And you know, if you want something more aggressive using less light and more shadows, or if you want something to seem a bit, you know, ethereal or magical using a bit more light, and having some blown out elements is actually a good way to exemplify that. And well, that wraps up this short video. Again, I'm no professional, I'm just saying what I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you learned anything from it, let me know down below in the comments, or even tell me what next video you'd like to see. Make sure to smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.